What's up you guys? My name is Marlon and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well today. Before we get started, I always ask that you guys subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, uh, we're on the road to 400 subscribers. Also, if you could share the video, uh, leave a like, a comment, it always helps. As you guys see in the title, today I'm bringing you guys a new haul video. If you guys haven't seen my last haul video that I did, uh, I was basically showing you guys like a bunch of t-shirts that I got, including this one, but it was from a bunch of different brands. So today, as you guys see in the title, I'm doing a, a Google exclusive haul. So I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the things that I picked up over the last few months. As you guys will tell, the stuff that I got is a mix of like stuff for the summer and also for the fall. I was kind of planning ahead and buying a bunch of hoodies and pants and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you guys what I copped. I'm really excited about it because I, I like the items that I found and I hope you guys like it. Today I'm, I'm going to be standing for the video. I think it's going to make the video a bit better <laughs> when I'm showing you guys the fits and all that. I hope you guys like the new format. I don't want to talk too long, so without further ado, let's get started. So we'll cue the intro. As usual, uh, I always try to include the links for each item that I show. I'm also going to talk about the, the sizing and I'll probably put a screenshot to show you guys like the price. As I always mentioned in previous videos, it is possible that a lot of these items are not available anymore, but I still advise you guys to go and check the website. What you can also do is create an account, look for the item, add it to your favorites, and usually it is possible that some, some of these items come back in stock over time. Uh, that's honestly how I got pretty lucky with a lot of them. If my size is not available, I just kind of check like on a daily basis and hope that uh, it comes back in stock. And then I try to cop it. Hopefully you guys are lucky in that sense. But even if you guys aren't able to cop these items, you can always check if there's other stuff that you like. Uh, Boohoo has a pretty wide selection of items and clothes that you can get. They have everything for every season. It should have something for everybody. So the first item that I copped is this pink satin shirt. I copped this because I knew I was gonna go on, on vacation uh, in Toronto. And also I just wanted some more dressed up items. I feel like in my wardrobe, I have a lot of streetwear, graphic tees. I don't have a lot of like dress shirts that I can wear if I wanna go out, you know, let's say to a nice bar or something. So I'm happy to get this one. So I wore this one for the first time when I went to Toronto. Very lightweight, so if it's a hot day, it's gonna be perfect. Now obviously the summer is kind of winding down, so I won't really be able to wear this anymore, but you know, I'll definitely keep it in my closet for next year. In terms of sizing, I do advise that you guys go a size up. Usually when I get like dress shirts, I go with a large at Boohoo. I actually cop the large and then I realized that it was too small, like I, my arms didn't even fit. So I had to go with extra large. And even extra large is a bit tight, to be honest. Uh, as you can see, the sleeves are really hugging my arms. Honestly, I could have even gone with the size up, but I mean, this is fine, you know? So hopefully it's not gonna rip at some point, but uh, I really like this shirt, honestly. A uh, really good cop. And they have a bunch of colors. So I went with the pink, but I saw they have white, black, they have uh, brown. They have a pretty good selection of this material. And also satin is something I had never tried before, but uh, I'm gonna be buying more of that. I like the silk satin vibe, you know, in the look. So let me know what you guys think. The second item is this uh, over shirt that I cop. So actually my girlfriend's brother had it and I was like, man, I actually like this, uh, this over shirt. So I looked on the website and I copped the same one. I like it because it's uh, it's kind of like a stretchy material. So this one I got in the large. Extra large I feel like would have been a bit too big. So that's why I went with the large. In terms of colors, they have this one and then they have another color. It's like a, like a dark turquoise blue, I guess. You know? But I already have a corduroy shirt that was turquoise, like in the same exact color as the other one. So I just didn't really feel the need to get both. So I got this one. Same thing, I rocked this in Toronto with one of my fits and I uh, really, really liked it. A lot of people gave me compliments on, the, on this shirt here. So it's really nice for the fall. Right now I can rock it as like my my over shirt, like that's my jacket, I guess. But at some point it's gonna help me layer my, my clothes. So in the fall especially, I'll be able to rock a t-shirt on there, put this on and then have like a top coat or something, you know? So I, that's what I like about this. It's pretty fitted to the body. So I would say go true to size with this. So like I said, I go with large usually. So I went with large with this one. Next up, I cop this flannel, which I'm really happy about. It looks like this flannel is actually affiliated with another brand because when I look on the tag, it says Native Youth. And I actually went and looked up the brand after. It looks like they have some, some pretty decent clothes. So I haven't really checked it out that much, but you know, it is something I'm probably gonna look into more later. But yeah, it's a really nice flannel. My only issue is that it's actually really tight. So I actually caught this in the extra large, thinking that it was gonna be a bit oversized. Originally, I was gonna get the large, but it was out of stock. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get the extra large and, and hopefully it fits. It'll be a bit oversized, it'll be perfect. But it actually turns out that it's tighter than I expected. It's actually a bit too tight. It isn't unbearable, so I can still rock it, but I was expecting to maybe wear a hoodie under or something. Unfortunately, I can't do that. So that's really something I wear with like a t-shirt under 
and that's like kind of like a layering piece but really nice anyways I, I love the colors um let me know what you guys think i didn't see too many other um flannels like this one like this is a thicker material usually flannels on boohoo are like a lighter material this one is actually one you can rock as a jacket to be honest if it's not too hot outside so i would definitely recommend it usually boohoo has the big and tall section i usually don't shop in there because i'm i'm 6'1 about 200 205 so i can shop in like the regular section but unfortunately they don't have this in the big and tall section if they did i probably would have gone with an xxl you know to like kind of be comfortable in it because it's really tight around the shoulder especially like if i do this while i'm wearing it i feel like i'm about to rip it so that's the one downside to it but it look, really looks good and, and fits you know you'll, you'll see me probably rocking this uh, in the fall you know it's getting cold in montreal unfortunately man kind of sucks but you know fall is the best season to dress uh, we all know that right so uh, i'm excited for that it's just i wish summer was longer you know i mean whatever man it is what it is another year <laughs> So I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple hoodies that I copped. So this one is actually a crew neck. In the last haul, I showed you guys a crew neck that I copped from Zafo, and I told you guys how like, I mean, it was decent, I liked it, but it's just that I kind of regretted getting it because I found a new crew neck, and this is it. So I love the green on this one. I was looking for this type of green, like a forest green. I've been talking about it for a while, and this is exactly what I was looking for. It's also a better fit. One thing that I really like about this crew neck, and I know you guys can probably relate is, when I rock a crew neck, for some reason, like a lot of them have like a loose color. So let's say I'm rocking like a, a white t-shirt on it. You can always see the color of the white tee, right? So I don't really like that too much. I like my crew necks to be tight around the neck, which this is. Uh, now it's maybe a little bit too tight, but I don't mind to be honest. In terms of sizing, I got this in a large. It fits perfect. I don't like my crew necks to be too oversized, to be honest. I like them to fit. You know, I don't want them to be too loose. I don't want like folds around arm and stuff. I can rock these with my new balances that you guys see in the back right here i know they have a bunch of colors for this one so even if you guys are, are looking for a different color you can find black uh, i'm pretty sure i've seen blue you guys will check on the website but definitely a great color and forest green is you know definitely a color that's been uh, growing in popularity this year i've been wanting forest green clothes but i feel like they're just now making them i have a pair of orange cargoes that i, that I can really picture with this i have a bunch of fits uh, i can rock with this so yeah man i'm excited i'm excited for sure next up we have a blue hoodie which i really like as well the reason why i caught this one is because i like the color i was watching a youtube video and uh someone was rocking a blue nike hoodie it was like a baby blue nike hoodie that i really messed with but nike is very expensive and also i don't think it was available in canada so i was like you know what whatever that's fine i'll, I'll just find something else then i came across this one which is cheaper uh, it fits well obviously i don't know if the quality is as good probably not but listen it works for me man as you can see you have a little writing here which is cool and it says new season cool in the back is also this so you guys see there, there's this in the back i think it's cool man like i like i don't like my hoodies to be just one color nothing no graphics anymore i used to buy a lot of hoodies like that but to be honest now nah, i wanted to at least have something that i really like the fit it's like not too tight not too loose either i got this in the large and I know they have they have this one as well in the white like it's over, overall it's white and then the, the like the writing is in blue if I'm not mistaken so you should check that out as well but it's a really dope uh, really dope hoodie man let me know what you guys think I think I'm gonna be buying hoodies more often on Google to be honest because so far I've been like I'm pretty satisfied with uh, what I found so next up we have this other hoodie that I caught so this one I, I really messed with uh, reason why is because there's orange on it which I really like as you can see here and also there's this. Uh, drawing in the back which is really dope kind of gives me some uh, some like Travis Scott vibes you know like like the desert and stuff you know I, I really like it in the back it says um season 20 volume one you know really cool really mess with it the one downside to this hoodie in particular and I mean it's supposed to be the same fit as the as the blue one it's actually the same uh, same size I got it in the large the one downside to it is that the arms are really tight so I remember the first time when I took it off I basically kind of ripped the like the armpit area you know it's fine i can still wear it but it's just it's a bit too tight right so i think clothes that are made in black are always going to be a bit tighter so you could actually go one size up i could have gone with the xl but the large is fine that's another one i really like and that's another one i'm going to be rocking quite a bit to be honest in the fall for sure i can rock this with like wave runners i can rock this with my new balances i can rock this with quite a quite a bit of stuff i like how in the front there's there's a bit of writing but it's not too too much that way you can always throw something on uh, with it and it, the outfit doesn't look too loud either you know so really nice cop uh, yeah let me know what you guys think 
Okay, so now we're done with the tops, so we're gonna move on to the pants. And I got quite a bit. Well, I got a couple, and I'll show you guys right now. So first one is this, uh, it's a pair of joggers, but they're loose fit joggers. And to be honest, like, I've always been into like the tighter fit, like cuffed around the ankles and all that stuff, but recently I've been kind of getting back to looser pants, like cargos and stuff, and looser sweatpants. And I'm not gonna lie, it's cool because it's a lot more comfortable, and these are really nice. So this is like the great pair that I got. Uh, I really like this one. I, I honestly rock this around the house or when I'm like running errands or, and also it looks good. Like it looks stylish, you know? So I, I really mess with it. I love the long strings on this. Uh, really cool. So I got this in the, in the extra large. You can probably go with the size you usually go with when you buy sweatpants. You could go a size down if you feel like the, you don't want them to be too loose, but I mean, it's loose around the ankles anyway. So, you know, if you don't like that look, I don't think you should go with this one. But if you like the loose sweatpants look, then just go through the sides and you'll be fine. They have a little thing here. It's like a, it's like a little rubber uh, sign. It says official man. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Simple pair, really dope. And I got the same one in a different colorway. So this is, well, it's pretty similar, right? I mean, this is a taupe colorway, so it's a bit darker, um, but it's perfect because I have some items that look better with this and then I have some items that look better with the gray. I wanted to get the same pair in black, but it's not available, unfortunately. So uh, hopefully I can cop it at some point, but same thing, I got in an extra large. Uh, I like this one. It, it looks really good with the flannel. Another really good pickup. The gray one is more when I'm like kind of around the house, and then this one is more when I go out, but it really depends on what I'm rocking with it, you know? Uh, the gray one also looks good with some items, so I just kind of like alternate and see uh, what, what looks best, but yeah, so another good one. I also got this pair of nylon cargo pants, really cool. I cop these like back in March, so I got them like in around April, and I rocked them a lot when I first got them, and I still do. Uh, they're really comfortable it's just that it's it's pretty thin so as it gets colder i can't really rock it as much but it's really really dope these are looser which i like they're still cuffed around the ankles but it's a looser fit so it's very comfortable i like the look of it, it looks like there's like kind of like suspenders here as you guys can tell this i got in an extra large as well so usually the pants i just get extra large because large just is just too tight around my, my thighs so and the good thing about it is like i know some people like the looser fit but they don't like the looser fit around the ankles so if you're one of those people, honestly, this one will fit you because you're gonna get kind of like the best of both worlds, right? So, me personally, I like the cuffed look and I also like the loose like ankle look, so either way, I'm fine, but uh, this one is a, is a really good pickup. And finally, the last two, I'm really excited about those. These were my probably my favorite pickups for the summer, at least in terms of pants. In my last haul video, I showed you guys a t-shirt from the Quavo Boohoo collection, and I told you guys that I had some more items that I had got from that collection. So this is one of them. They're a bit wrinkled, unfortunately. I haven't ironed them, but you guys can see. So this is one of them, it's really dope. So I, this is the first one that I copped, I remember. These pants are kind of iconic to me because they're like my reintroduction into like the looser fit. They're really comfortable. It's more of a heavy material. If I go out, usually I'm, I'm gonna be rocking these, to be honest. They have the honcho here, and this is like a rubber material on, like, on the writing. They have some more writing right here, which is really cool. I love the strings. They're really long. Another good thing about these is that like, you actually get to choose. If you like the looser fit around the ankles, you can go with the looser fit. But you also have this little thing right here that you can use to uh, make them like tighter if you want. So basically, if you, if you like the tighter look, you can you can also go with the, the, with the cuffed ankle look. So I think really this is perfect. Like these are the perfect pants. Very versatile. This is an extra large as well. And my last one is the same ones in black. So those I'm so happy about because I remember when I first dropped them, I wanted them because I had seen them in the hall and I remember the price was like $93 and I was like, there's no way I'm copying these for $93. But the black ones had already sold out. So I was kind of hoping that Boohoo would kind of drop the price, which they did. So they ended up dropping it to 37 bucks. That's how I copped the other colorway. And then uh, this one, I was kind of hoping someone would just like send it back so I could cop it. They did, so I was able to get it. I was checking every day. I was super happy, so I was able to cop these for 37 bucks as well. I think at some point they dropped to 31 bucks, but these weren't back in stock, so I wasn't able to get them at that price. 93 bucks is kind of, it's, it's who's kind of pushing it with that price. I don't think they're worth $93, but for 37, it's a really, really good pair. I like the black pair because it's very versatile. The black one, I can really just rock with anything, which is really cool. They're literally identical. It's just the writing is in white. Same thing here. Actually, I didn't even show you guys the uh, zippers. So you can't put anything in it, but there's still zippers here, which is pretty nice. Uh, just adds a little touch. There's a bunch of pockets on it also. So you can put your phone and whatever, you know, you, like you're good to go with these pants. And I'm really starting to mess with these loose pants, man. Like these uh, looser fit because I feel comfortable in them. I've been rocking skinnies for a long time. And like, usually I tend to like to rip the, the inside of my leg because my, my thighs tend to rub together when I walk. So 
this is a great uh, substitute. And also, you know, I'm able to put a bunch of stuff in my pockets and my, my pockets aren't too full. And it's, it just look good, man. I, I'm really liking this athleisure slash military style, I guess. I mean, I don't know if you can call it military, but yeah, just athleisure look. I think it looks really good. And hopefully that trend sticks for a while because I don't really want to go back to skinnies right now. I still rock my skinny jeans, but if I have to go out if, and if I have to choose between like rocking these and rocking skinny jeans, I'm going to be rocking these to be honest because I just feel so comfortable in them, you know. I like to look good, but I also like to be comfortable, right? So this is honestly the perfect mix. And last but not least, I got these chains. If you guys want to kind of add some spice to your outfit, like just kind of make it look a bit better. Chains and jewelry in general is, just, is a great look. I got these. I usually rock these together, but you know, show, you can you know rock them separate. So this is just a cross. I don't even know what this is to be honest, but whatever. I mean, it looks cool. So I got this one as well. Here I got this uh, four layer chain, which is really cool. I rock this the most. Uh, it looks really good with graphic tees. Quick disclaimer, don't expect these to last too long. Color is gonna come up at some point. I mean, these are really cheap, you know, so don't expect great quality, but you know, if you wanna rock them from time to time, it's cool. One thing you can do is if you have sisters or a girl, ask them to uh, apply, I think, what is it? It's like whatever they put on their nails, uh, nail polish, yeah. I think if you put nail polish on it, it helps fight out the humidity. So that way, it, like your, your jewelry is gonna retain the color longer, you know, so that's the trick that my girl showed me. Um, so yeah, I'm just kinda telling you guys now because the color is gonna come off at some point. So anyways guys, that's the video. I hope you guys like the items. Uh, let me know in the comments which was your favorite, as usual. I always like to ask you guys, Jesus. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, uh, if you guys like the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share. Really helps as well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as usual. If you guys are interested, I can actually do a video showing you guys how I put together some of my fits uh, using these items that I copped. So if that's something that interests you, just let me know. Anyways, so that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Marlon and I'll see you guys next time.